What's up backgammon fans? In this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about structure and backgammon. So let me show you what I, what I mean. So structure is usually what we, the word we use to describe your front position prime structure here. So for instance here, glue has a five prime. That's his structure. Um, the theme of this video is to discuss an outside prime versus an inside prime and why an inside prime is much better. So in this, this formation that we got here, this would be an outside prime because the five prime goes from the five to the nine point. So it's, we've got three out of the five points. So the majority of the points is in the outer board. So compare that to this prime, for instance, this would be an inside prime because the majority of the points is in your inner board. And this would be even further inside. This is a very, very powerful prime. So why is it that inside primes are stronger than outside primes? Well, it comes down to the nature of the game because Pegamon is a race. And when your opponent has an anger at the edge of your prime, let's say you have an outside prime and your opponent has this anger. If this was a pure race, then the pip count would be the crucial factor. It isn't because blue is priming white here, but if white were to escape, for instance, with a double six, if he has race value, so if the pip count is, is equal, he can actually win this game. So in a, when he has an anger against an outside prime, the pip count is still quite valid because white can get lucky. He can escape maybe one check at a time or both with a double six or maybe a double five later on, and he can actually win the race. But with an inside prime, that is going to be very difficult because if you have an inside prime over here, even if white were to be ahead in the race. So let's set up a position here where white is actually ahead in the race versus an inside prime. So let's say white has moved a lot of checkers here. Maybe he has a closed board. So all his checkers are here in the, in the inner board. And uh, let's say blue is like this. So now, or let's say something like this. White is actually ahead in the race in this position. But blue is still winning because the reason is when you got your opponent trapped behind an inside prime, the moment you let go of your prime, so let's say now white starts to bring his checkers home and or blue and white starts to crunch here, blue comes home, white is crunching even more. When white finally can let go of his anger and start running his checkers, he will have many roles to get these back checkers into his home board. And blue, because he had an inside prime, is so close to his home board that he's already going to be bearing off checkers. He's already going to be like this with many checkers off when white finally makes it all the way to his home board and starts bearing checkers off. Compare that to an outside prime. With an outside prime, let's make it even, even worse for blue here. Let's say that he's got a five prime, but it's from the six to the 10 point. Compare this to this position. The moment that blue starts to let go of his prime, he still has so many checkers to move here, so many rolls to get his checkers into the home board that white can actually catch up and get his checkers into the home board as well and then win the race. You know, Bagaman is essentially a race. And that is why the inside prime is, is clearly stronger than an outside prime. There's one other reason. The inside prime has more inner points. So in case you convert your game into a blitz, you have a stronger inner board and more blitz value. There you got it, outside prime versus inside prime.